In this video, I'm going to go over the str str function in C, which finds the first occurrence of one string in another string. So to use the function, I'm going to include string.h because that's where the function is defined. And this library comes with C, so you're always going to have access to it. And then I'm going to say here, car haystack, and I'll define my first string. And I'll say, this is the way. Then I'll define my next string here, needle, and it's going to be just the. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find the in this string here, this is the way. And it will find it because it is in there. Now the way the function works is it's gonna to try to find the first complete match. So it has to be T-H-E, those characters all together in a row. It doesn't consider the null terminator of this string here when it's doing the match. So it's really just the characters in the string here. The function returns a pointer to the first character in the match. So it'll return a pointer to this character right here, which effectively gives us the substring of this string here from the first match onto the end of the string. So let's see how it works. We're gonna say here, car star the is equal to str str, and then we'll say haystack needle. And then we'll print out what we get back. So we'll say printf the percent s, and we'll output what's returned from it. And let's just compile it here and give it a test. So we run it and we get back the, and we get back the string the way. And so what's happened here is that str str has found the needle in the haystack and returns back this pointer to this character right here, which effectively gives us something we can treat as a string because it is really a string. And it's the substring of this string here, haystack, from that first match on. And so that's how the function is going to behave. We could use it to figure out some position in a string where something starts that we're interested in knowing. One thing we might be curious about is what happens if the function cannot find the needle in the haystack. So for example, what if we tried to find the word now in this string here? The word now is not in that string. What's gonna happen is the function will return null. And we can give that a quick test here. So we could say here, car now is equal to, and we'll just say now. Now that string is not a substring of the haystack. So now when we say car star, and we'll say fail, is equal to str str, and we'll put the haystack string in, but now we'll put now in is what we're trying to find. And what we're gonna get back is null. So we're gonna say here, if fail is equal to null, we'll say printf failed to find string. And we'll just output this, and then we'll do a recompile and run it, and just confirm that's what we get. And we get failed to find string. And so that's the behavior we can expect if we try to find a string in another string and that string is just not in there. So now it's just not in, this is the way, so we're not gonna find it. And that's the str str function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.